So we've seen how maglev and by extension hypothetical repulsive anti-gravity could be used to create innovative lifting machines. But it is not always necessary for the entire apparatus to float. A wheelbarrow, for instance, could be made so that the handle end would float, but the single front wheel would still contact the ground. This would be especially desirable for very heavy payloads, as it would lessen or completely eliminate physical stress and strain on the operator. Maglev would be quite practical to implement on board large ships and aircraft carriers, as the entire ground surfaces of these vessels could be made from non-ferrous metals and then concealed with carpet or other insulating flooring materials. We could even imagine the use of this technology on large space stations and spaceships, as seen in the animated movie WALL-E. It may still be a question of if a true anti-gravity device would be much more versatile than maglev, though, as such technology might possess its own peculiar caveats or limitations. It would be a dream come true to discover the graviton, the proposed quantum unit of gravity that is analogous to electromagnetism's photon, as it would likely enable us to practically generate and manipulate a strong gravitational field. Given that gravity is so many orders weaker than electromagnetism, the graviton might allow us the agency to resonate and focus these elusive particles to create an artificial gravity field much, much stronger than normal. The resulting field might then be adequate enough to interact with terrestrial gravity or the gravity fields of surface matter in a much more impactful way, just as a laser technology strengthens and focuses an electromagnetic field sufficiently to enable light to actually slice through solid metal, something that ordinary light is far too weak and incoherent to do. We might assume that such a gravity field would interact evenly with said ambient gravity fields, but would this really be the case? We do know that apparent weight can vary over the Earth's surface depending on how close said mass is to the equator. However, this is not really a change in gravity, but rather a change in apparent weight due to the centrifugal force or effect of the Earth, which slightly counteracts gravity, the effect being strongest at the equator. Therefore, this effect should have little if any effect on the proposed anti-gravity device. But we also know that gravity itself is not uniform over the Earth's surface and can vary depending on the composition and de density of the underground matter of a particular region. This could be potentially problematic for a gravitational device which is sensitive to these variations. It would be almost ironic if, in the case of artificial gravity generation, we still needed a track made of some uniform, super-dense material over which the device could interact since maglev essentially requires a similar component, but in the form of a uniform, non-ferrous metal track. In this case, it would depend on which is more practical and cost-effective to implement. This is only a hypothetical scenario, though, of course. Hopefully time will truly tell.